啦啦。Hello, peeps, and welcome back to Two Point Hospital. Welcome back to Smugly, where I have decided to purchase a new plot, plot five here for thirty-five thousand doubloons. Um, we have the helipad here, so I like very much the idea of destroying all these power boxes and whatnot, and um, making this a treatment building, clearing out some room from here, because I'd like more surgeries, I think, because the problem I've noticed with surgery is they're always quite low on health by the time they get here. So even though we've got three surgeries, surgeries are also long, right? They're, um, they are a long process. Uh, it takes a while for them to get through it all. Um, so, and I never feel like I can take on emergencies. So I think what I'd like to do is build three more surgeries down here. But before I do, we need a new home for treatment. We also need to add chromotherapy because we're still not treating chromotherapy. So I think that we will, uh, yeah, convert this building, convert it, build this building and start moving treatment over into it. The fact that it's also near the helipad, so if we get any emergencies for this sort of stuff, I mean, I know that the fracture ward is over here and they have to go right across the hospital, which is not the best plan, to be honest. Um, but that it is only that department and that, that it's it's rare, right? It, it's, fairly, it's fairly rare. And this is, it's an odd building, but I think it will do what we need it to do. I think we'll be able to get it in here. So that'll be fantastic. Yes, because look, we're, st we're not dealing with chromotherapy at all. Let's do a bunch more training then. So let's see here, um, doctors, um, do you know what we might do is get some surgery two training going with Dr. B. Pepper, everybody. Dr. B. Pepper, my personal favorite <laughs> guest trainer. Um, we are going to pull a couple of them out, uh, which is, you know, it's going to, again, apply pressure over here, but I feel like it's worth doing, right? Worth doing. Nurses, shall we do a bunch more of, oh dear, look at this, maybe we should do some pay satisfaction, bunch of diagnostic 2 training, does anybody else need it, yes, loads of people need it, Bell Sweetener, would you like to join us, there we go, um, now, assistance, fantastic, let's get, um, do you know what we might do, is put both of them in, um, which is not the best for reception, but there we are. And then what have we got here? Uh, let's see, shall we? Teddy Cosmic. I think some stamina training might be nice for Teddy. Um, now who could join him with that? Let's see here, um, Shane. There we go, fantastic. So there's a bunch of training. Going. I've been here now, let's name. see. We I need wrap my head it. a star from over Probably here. Let's copy the this. In those industrial fumes. Uh, yeah, it's not the best, is it? Um, let's see. I think I like the idea of getting the star from. Uh, over here. Do you know what? We might give it a bit more. Might give it a bit more space. In I think I quite like. I think that's all right. I think that's okay. Okay, that's fine. Now we haven't really dealt with treatment. You can see we, this one hasn't even got any stuff for the staff member to idle in, so that they're comfortable and warm or anything. So we need to have a look at these rooms, make them make them nicer for staff to spend time in. We could actually afford to make these rooms bigger, maybe. That's interesting. We might look into that. Um, then we also have the injection room, which, you know, do you think there's a chance we might need two of these I'm not quite sure possibly though possibly um, if we were going to have 
two of these. How would we want to pop them? Pop them in. I'm not sure. We could put these so these doors are more central, perhaps. I'm not sure. Let's pop it there for now. Because we also need to build um, chromotherapy. We're going to build a very quick uh, chromotherapy just here. 4x3, May. 4x3. A very quick chromotherapy just so that it, it functions. I mean, it's cold and everything. Um, but we will also need a toilet in here as well. Interesting. We will need a toilet as well. Let's. I think we will copy this toilet and just sling that there. Okay. And then, how many? About three. I suppose we could technically fit in two injection labs there. But do you know what? I don't think we will. I don't think we will. Maybe we'll make an ob odd shaped lab here. Actually, I don't know. Do I want to do that? I'm not sure I do. I'm not sure that I do. Uh, hmm. Maybe we could pop that there. Pop that there. No, don't think I do like it. Don't think I do like it. Let's remove these again. Um, we will, I think, sling that there. And then the staff member can operate it. I think from here but now the door's quite far away so if we were to put the door over here then they can come straight in and get on there which I quite like I think that works a little bit better Ooh, Sophie Nova through her bungle mail look gave us research points that's fantastic okay let's see about getting an upgrade on this right away we're going to need a fire extinguisher Nurse required definitely a uh, oh actually we Safe might pop in a window there by a local hospital this morning. she did the press release said she was offering to there, share there's her company's that. experimental treatments okay you ask me she just wanted to see what the competition is up to. Do you think that's what it is, Harrison? It's very possible, isn't it? Uh, so we'll pop her chair for her, uh, for the nurse, um, him, her. Do you know? I don't know who we've got to work this building. We should probably should probably look into that. <laughs> um, stick a cupboard, I think, in the corner here, so it just looks a little bit nicer. We'll get the sweet dispenser in the drinks machine so they've got all their usual idling stuff is that going to fit oh, just there we go so they've got all their usual idling stuff um it is cold here i know shall we see about getting some radiators in let's pop a radiator there that will help um do you know what we might see about a radiator here and there uh, I don't want to go too nuts because we're probably going to muck around with this space, to be honest. Indeed. Uh, oh, look! We got the third star. Congratulations! Your hospital has been awarded a three star rating by the Two Point Health Ministry. Smogly, as we know, is a dire place in dire need of a feature to alert uh, the cartographers to its existence. <laughs> Um, your excellent hospital may well be that feature. Uh, people would come from miles around to see it. Uh, if anyone could see through uh, that opaque guff smogly has in place of air, yours fragrantly Tarquin Foxbridge. And uh, look, we got some kudosh and some doubloons as well. Uh, we're just going to stick here for the moment though um, because we need to get some bennies down. Um, outside this room I can't imagine we'll need two bennies out here but let's let's get them anyway um, do you know what I'm thinking we might 
award ourselves some hmm, what do we want to do gift shop or i don't know because we're not going to be using any of this anytime soon we might leave it for the moment uh let's get our notice boards in and uh, there we go excellent so now it is a nurse let's pause this a minute it is a nurse that works this but currently nobody works in chromotherapy. Now we will have treatment nurses, but do we have any that aren't surgery based? No. Just just this lady over here. Um, how do we feel about making her share it? I know that, because she'll never get to level five treatment because she's got her injection administration, but do you know what we might just for the sake of one department we might just add it saying that i keep thinking we are probably going to need a second nurse here anyway because these these two are doctors and i think that this this chromotherapy was the only department wasn't it okay what we'll do yeah we'll we'll get her to share the departments but I think we need to get her a buddy. That's what we need. Um, so we've got a treatment nurse, hangry and nasty. Well, it's not a good start. Um, Philip Humbug, he's terribly dark. Let's get rid of all them. They're not good at all. They were all terrible, terrible people. Um, turbo plunger. Now, I'm thinking putting doors nearer the center here would be good for these two buildings shall we make one building slightly bigger than the other do you know what i think we might do it for this one sorry uh i'm gonna have to kick you out i think we might pop pop this that way um stuff you can deal with that i think excellent has all the training come to an end? It has. Shall we do another round of training? Let's see. So more doctors then. What, who have we got down low? Ooh, we've got a really bad GP actually. Uh, so GP2. Let's get you into that training because that was really low. That's going to cause problems in our GP departments. There's, there's no doubt about that. Treatment 2 uh, with Meredith Beard. Are you the only person that needs treatment 2? Wow, okay. Fine um let's see so ozzy uh would you like to come in for some more customer service training fantastic now janitors shall we see about some more maintenance three training it's only that one janitor that needs it that's fine we also seem to have um some money issues yeah so what we could start doing, I suppose, is starting to make them happy with their pay um, would would be a thing. Would be a thing indeed. Um, now. Let's see here. This room is warm enough. Okay, let's move the fire extinguisher to here. That will do and you know what we might do is actually move the large radiator over to there now what's it oops now what's it like it's not so bad we probably could because it's a big room now that's not the button i wanted at all this is a big room now so maybe we could just pop in a radiator over there wouldn't hurt would it that's all right that's okay so we're only going to get the basics in for the doctor that's in here to idle uh, happily um so we always put the certificate behind the chair just to add a bit of attractiveness to where he's hanging out uh we need his hygiene should he get thirsty and should he get hungry there we go so that will do uh for this room for now I'm really a caped crime fighter keeping the streets of okay. Point County clean. This one, ooh, which we can upgrade. Actually, what we're going to do is quickly edit this room. Um, 
going to edit this room because we want to move uh, this door uh, to the other end, a lack of soul. Uh, we can move this here. Now, the problem is, of course, is I've now made it so that they come in the other way. So we're going to shift this bit of equipment. Now, what's, we're having trouble getting everything in. Uh, let's get rid of these bits getting the bare minimum in the room really for it to function fairly okay we're not going for prestige or any major attractiveness levels uh, with the hospitals at the moment our main focus at the moment with this particular series is to three star the hospitals uh, get them off the ground get them operating uh, smoothly um, and oh my goodness it keeps picking up the wrong thing um and that's about it really uh, for this series and then what we'll do is we will come back um, to every hostel and we're going to make them really sexy yes we are right now the doctor will be idling um, I know they're going to be working in this corner but we can't really fit it all back there so and I like their chair really to be near the radiator let's get uh, the water fountain we oh jeez <laughs> wow pop that there okay Right, pop that in there like that. Fantastic. Then what I would like to do is move this room up. We're going to add a couple of bits like that. Uh, will the door go in there? Yes, with a window there. Right, okay, so we'll come back to that in a moment because we had a research project complete um animal magnetism uh with that that it came through which is fantastic because we'll have a go at that because um that means now with our research projects we've just got the advanced to go so we've researched all the machines we've researched all their upgrades and now we can work through in future hospitals to get through their advanced upgrades, which I think is going to be absolutely fantastic. Hopefully we'll be able to get a bunch of them done in meltdowns. Um, we probably could start one. I mean, maybe we should start with diagnostics, you know? Might as well get started as we're here on that one. We'll, uh, we'll start on that one. Now, do we have another nurse yet that we can hire? Short temper becomes nasty when unhappy. She shouldn't, she shouldn't become unhappy. Um, so we will take the plunge with her and we will get her trained in this straight away. Um, and mess with her jobs um, so that she works in chromotherapy and the injection Feel room. There we go. There we go. Pocket watches that will be fantastic. Now, now shall we sort this room out? Uh, being that we've now messed it all up. Uh, Buy a bungle rocket watch today. So they'll be and idling in this space. We're about to get the awards. <gasps> did it just sell my water fountain? It did. <laughs> it just sold the water fountain. I cannot believe it. Um, now, let's pop that in there with the hygiene. Um, actually, let's pop the hygiene here and we will stick the food there. 
Um, we'll keep them by the radiator so they're warm when they're sitting down with their certificate so it's attractive where they are sitting down. Let's move, oh we can get rid of that one. Let's move this closer. That will do. There we go. Now this leaves us enough room should we want another one. Um, here I think for, for another injection lab because uh, it, it could be that when we return to this hospital really we could be looking at needing another one of these um, so let's get some bennies down shall we uh, let's see Nurse required in, injection room. in injection room if we put that there let's try and sort the heat out it's a little bit warm over there but I, I think that's okay um, you know what, and we might just put a little radiator here as well. So it's now toasty warm, uh, which is fantastic. Let's get some bennies. Now being that these, we've got a bunch of departments here. So we're going to put three bennies there, two here. Let's get some notice boards behind them. So it's attractive where uh, the peeps are sitting. Excellent. Now what we don't have yet is some... Uh, um, some food right there's nothing here for them to eat so I like to make everybody thirsty it's the way that I operate so we're going to put some briny brittle down and then pulpitation um, and often um, they will want more drink than food um, so I'm wondering if we should put a couple of these down you know what we won't it, it is treatment people shouldn't linger too much around here let's put a binny down there now another thing we don't really have around here is entertainment i think what we'll do is we'll put a bookcase uh, here we actually don't have any hygiene uh, in the corridor so let's pop that there um and then for entertainment i think um actually Oh, I was thinking about putting the, the bennies in the middle and putting stuff up around the edges, but I won't. I won't read it. We're we're here now. We've done it. So what we'll do, I think, is pop these magazine racks here like this, with these leaflet stands either side. I think that's pretty good. And then we can also we'll pop, we'll pop that there as well. That's all right. That's okay. And then we've got room for um, another one of these, which, looking at it, we could very well need more treatment nurses for this area uh, in, the, in the future. And another one of these injection rooms. It does kind of look that way, doesn't it? It does, it does kind of look that way. Um, so where are we with everything? Um, these, let's get rid of these surgeries because this is, this is such a problem. Um, this hospital definitely needs more surgeries. Um, and you know what? I know that we're at three stars, but I think we might come back on the next episode to this hospital and see about attending to surgery, see if we can get uh, a bunch of s surgery doctors in and, and see about sorting out this building just so that we can get more surgeries on the go. I think that would be good. Um, so let's see here. How many surgeons do we have at the moment? We've got one, two, three, four. Yeah. And we should also have four nurses to go with them. So that's fantastic. Let's get a bunch more training going, actually, before we do. So what we will need, if I want to build another three, um, yeah, we'll need another three surgery doctors and another three... Do you know what, though? I'm wondering if we should have two spare sets of staff at that point. Wow, so we want masses and masses of stuff. Should we play with... Do we have marketing yet? I always forget with what level. Because <laughs> I stream the game a lot as well, right? I stream the game a lot. I get confused about what I have where. Um, so let's do this. We might actually mark it. Uh, this is going to be a very quick mar marketing room. Nothing, nothing crazy. Just something quick. Um, 
Yeah. Because what we could do, and I never do it, of course, I never do it. But you know what? We'll do it here. Marketing is probably going to become a big thing for us um, when we come back um, to start doing up all the hospitals. There'll be lots of marketing for our hospitals going on. Um, let's pop that under there. Um, so it's, it's, it's pretty minimal. Pretty minimal. Um, assistant. Excellent. A warm welcome once again. I'm Ricky Hawthorne, and you're listening to Forget that minute. Radio. We're going to start today's show with a lively number. Now, let's have a look at our doctors. There's no doctors here that I like, uh, so we're going to get rid of all that. Nurses, unhygienic. There's no nurses here I like, so we're going to get rid of all of them. So, we would like. Um, recruitment, we would like surgeons put up posters in butchers and delis around Two Point County to attract um, out of work surgeons. Uh, I read that like a moron. Did you hear that? If we were to do build like four or five marketing rooms and get them all marketing to say recruit nurses in general. The recruitment bar, this bar would go really quick. The more you have, the more campaigns you have, they stack, the faster it goes. Um, so that's that's always worth knowing, right? Right, careful with that. It's very expensive, Brangelina. Very expensive, Brangelina. There we go. Shall we, shall we see about, uh, whereas this is looking for specifics, isn't it? They're looking for, sorry, hit the mic. They're looking for specific doctors. Let's do some training as we have um, a little bit of time here. Um, shall we do some more? Actually, no, just in case we employ a bunch. I think we might do, oops, a daisies. We might do a bunch of psychiatry uh, three training. We 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 will get a couple of them in for that. I think. Um, I think we will get some ward training as well. There we go. Um, Kimmy here can have some more customer service training, and then we also have our janitors. Do you know what? Let's get you in Mechanics 3 with Penelope Power. That might be nice. Right. What have we got? No, see, I don't like the fact that they have general practice training. So no good for me. No good. What are you doing? This is terrible. Maybe I should just do general doctors. Um, <laughs> we got... Ooh. Ooh. Look at this. Now, the question is, do we have this nurse replace the other one, which I didn't like that much? Do we keep her as a spare? Maybe we do. Maybe we do. Maybe we should build that other... Now, now that we just happen to have picked up that nurse, we might just do this. Um, saying that, I don't like... I was hoping to have them, but because of the door, I think having them repeat like this might be better. Um, yeah, because of that, that doorway there. Yeah, okay. So let's get um, a couple more bennies down here. This works for us. Excellent. There we go. And in here. Right. Excellent, excellent. What entertainment item could we have? Actually, we'll go for something that's attractive there, I think. Fantastic. Um, also, I'm now playing with um, the 1.6 update, which I made a video on uh, fairly recently, where you can um, now rename your staff um, if you want to, which is up here. So you can now rename them. Uh, or you can also rename patients here. Uh, you can rename rooms should you want to. 
Also, you may have noticed we've got a new icon down here for staff customization, so we can now actually change all their outfits, um, which is absolutely fantastic. And we've got that for all staff types up here, as you can see, so that's great. Uh, so we can start customizing them like that um but then there, there's lots of other little things as well so i know that sometimes uh well, that's perfect timing the albert crank down here can be a little bit frustrating for people the amount that he pops up and we now uh do have advisor messages in settings so you can actually change the priority of how often he pops up uh, or turn him off completely um so that's pretty good um also, ooh, now, now that we're promoting, let's start making people happy, I think, with their pay. I think we'll start doing that. That didn't go very well, did it? So, um, something else that you can now do is move patients between rooms of the same type. Don't interact with other patients. You don't know where they've been. So that, that's a thing that is now happening, which is pretty good. Um... Very handy for your, your GPs and all that sort of stuff. Treatment failed. What's happening with you? Let's we have a look. Yeah, there's lots of very low health patients kicking around surgery as, as always. We definitely need more surgeries, I feel. Definitely need more surgeries. Um, how's this marketing going? No. Uh, she she will be good for a treatment nurse so let's get that training going um, yeah so we've we've picked up an additional nurse for surgery but we are still looking for decent doctors what about this one no never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Maybe in the next episode where we will be dealing with this entire building. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button. As long as you are here, why not check out one of my delectable videos available? Feel free to come stalk me on social media and be sure to share this video with friends so even more may watch my shizwa. See you next time, peeps.